Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I have what I think is going to be a really interesting video for you guys. Uh, so if you don't know, I am on Pinterest. I don't think I have it linked in my channel yet, um, but I will get there eventually. And so I have a Pinterest and of course, me being me, I have a makeup board. And my makeup board right now is filled with different makeup looks that I want to try. But the thing that's been popping up on my Pinterest a lot recently is makeup looks like this one where they show the finished makeup look and then they also show the product that they use and they assign it like numbers and then they show you a picture of the eyelid and where you would put each of those colors and I think that's really really cool and so what I'm going to do for you guys today is the first of what I'm probably going to make a series and it's trying Pinterest makeup looks without a video tutorial. So I'm literally just going to take this picture and I'm going to try and do exactly what it says and try and recreate the makeup look. So the one that we're doing today is the one that I just showed you. Um, it's from iKalani Bow Food. Um, and so it it's linked with 30 plus ideas for Jaclyn Hill uh, tutorials with this palette specifically. But the one I'm going to be doing today is like a neutral eye with a purple outer corner. Which you guys know me. I love purples on my eyes because I have green eyes and so purples and greens tend to accentuate them and make them look really nice. So that is what I'm going to be trying to recreate today. And she only used five colors. She used MFEO, Faint, Royalty, Soda Pop, and Abyss. Which is really interesting because Soda Pop and Abyss are dark colors, but like you can't, like you can kind of see them in there, but like they're pretty toned down in this look. So it'll be really interesting trying to recreate this and I'm just going to go ahead and jump right into it I think. So the first thing that I have to do of course is prime my eyes. I really hope this tutorial turns out okay because I have to go to work after this. <laughs> I also have my candles burning. You can't really see them. There they are. Oh, other side. Um, I have my candle burning over here. I have my coffee over there and my cute little cat mug. I am just, I'm ready for the day because it's other than my work shift it's gonna be a really easy day I'm hoping so and my cat is sitting on the tread climber and the other one is exploring the basement and trying to eat what appears to be a spider what you gonna do okay so the first color that she uses is the neutral color MFEO so I'm gonna grab my favorite little brush here and I'm just gonna go in and put that in what looks like the crease to be a transition color. And I'm probably going to do this one eye at a time and then do the other eye off camera, I think is how I want to do it. And so I'm just going to go in very lightly, just kind of swipe that all in my crease and slightly above as a transition shade. Okay, so next she goes in, she goes in with the black, which is Abyss, and puts that on the outer like third of the eye. She seems to be pretty precise with it. So I'm going to go in with my slightly more precise blending brush. I'm going to get some of the color that's on it off of it because it's pink and that would not go with the look very well. <laughs> and I'm going to go in with Abyss and just do the outer third of my eye. And I'm going to try and start out really small and build this up. And again, I'm going in really, really light-handed, especially because this is a very pigmented and dark color. And I'm actually going in a little more, like, halfway. I'm going to build that up just a tiny bit more on the outer third. But I did blend inward about halfway. And again, I'm using kind of like the back of my brush and just going in really, really light. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with the color Soda Pop, which is a dark brown, like right next to it. And I'm going to take that on the actual lid on the outer corner. So I'm going to go in with my accent brush here from Real Techniques, pick up some of that color, and just kind of put that on the lid right underneath where we put that black. And I'm going to pat that on and then blend it in slowly. Because the purple is going to go right on top of this, so I don't want to like make it so dark that you're then not going to be able to see the purple. 
Okay, guys, all three of my cats are here now. It's kind of freaking me out because I very rarely have all three cats in here at the same time. And she does appear... It looks like she does it more in a wing shape, so I guess I should probably wing this out a little bit. Okay, so I'm actually going to go ahead and draw a wing shape with that dark brown. And so I'm going to take that same brush. Actually, I'm going to go in with a more precise brush. Another one from Real Techniques. This is the Pixel Point Eyeliner Brush, and I'm going to go ahead and create a wing shape with the black and the brown. I don't tend to do wing shapes on my eye very often because they just they don't look as good on my eye, I feel like. But it's it's what they want. So blend that out a little bit. I'm gonna buff it out with the real technique real techniques brush that I use to apply the black. Okay, and then I'm gonna go back in and just kind of fix that brown a little bit. Now it's starting to look like something, so that's good. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with the color Royalty, which is the purple. And I'm going to go in on that same accent brush that I used, the brown. Actually, no, I'm not. I lied. So decisive die. So I'm going to take this brush right here, which is another accent brush from the brand Satina. Uh, again, I'm going to get some of the used color off of it and then I'm going to spray it with a little bit of fix plus and then I'm going to go in with that purple and I'm just going to put it right over top of where I put the brown and again it's going to go in about a third to half of the way in I hope this works I'm going to actually hold my mirror up for this one Okay, all right, all right, purple, I see you, I see you. I am also going to have it go like all the way up to the crease to meet with that black that's over there. Okay, so I can actually, I can see the purple, which is good, because I was really concerned that I wasn't going to be able to. Also, sorry my hair looks a little rough, it needs to be put up in a ponytail. Cause it's, and dry shampooed, because it's a little dirty, it's a little oily, uh, but I just haven't gotten around to that yet, and so, yeah, sorry guys, <laughs> you get to see what my hair looks like when it's oily. Alright, I'm not mad at it, y'all, it's not bad. Uh, so now I'm going to go in with the last color that she used, which is the color Faint, and it's like a light shimmery pink, and I'm going to put that all over the rest of my eyelid that I haven't done yet, and what I'm probably going to end up doing because I'm going to use my finger to apply it, and so I'm probably going to have to go back in with the purple and, like, blend the two together. So that's, that's the next step. Yeah, I'm going to go in back with a little bit more of that purple and just blend out that transition area. Okay. So this is what we have. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my first brush that had um, MFEO on it. I'm just going to blend out the crease a little bit, make it a little bit lighter. Because in the photo, the crease is not as dark. And maybe that's just the lighting. I don't know. But <laughs> and all I'm doing is just using whatever color is left on the brush. I'm not picking up anything else. Uh, okay. So then I'm going to put actually a little bit of highlight color on because I can't not put highlight on now, like bra bone and inner corner. But it doesn't look like she did eyeliner color. So I'm just going to go ahead and put on mascara and hope that that is enough for my eye. I am actually going to tight line my eye though with the Pixi eye pencil. And so I'm going to tight line, accentuate the lashes a little bit, and then I'm going to go in and curl my lashes and use the Bad Girl Bang Mascara and the Snapscara that you guys have seen me using, like, all the time. So so actually, while the first coat of mascara is drying, I'm actually going to go in and I'm going to go back in with Abyss, and I'm going to grab it on 
my lower lash line angled brush. I'm going to take that on the outer third of my lower lash line. And that looks to be about all that she did. So. And then I'm just going to blend it out. Y'all, I'm not mad at this eye makeup. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to go in with my second coat of mascara. Okay, so that is the finished eye makeup look. Um, so let's just go ahead, do a little comparison photo. I don't think it looks too bad. Obviously, my lighting in here is terrible, so I'll try and take like a better photo for the thumbnail, so hopefully you guys will actually be able to see the difference. Um, but actually, I quite like this look. I don't think it's as perfectly winged out as hers was, and I feel like hers ended up looking like a lot warmer than mine did. But again, that may just be the lighting. I don't know. So, because my lighting in here is very like yellow and red toned, so it's a little hard to see. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do the other eye off camera, and then I will get back to you. And we'll just there. The only thing that's in here is an an eye look, so we're just gonna kind of go in with the rest of the face super quickly, and then I'll talk about my experience just following the photo. Okay guys, so I have officially finished the other eye off camera, and I actually did also put a little bit of the Maybelline Snapscara on my lower lashes as well, just to kind of finish it off, round off the look. I'm going to really quickly recurl my lashes, because my lashes tend to fall pretty quickly, and then we're going to go in and finish with the face makeup. So let's just get a little recurl here. Okay, so now we're going to go in with the face, and the first thing that I'm going to do so I'm going to go in with a little bit of bronzer. Not a lot. I'm not going to... Oh, God. Things are flying at me. I'm not going to bronze too much today because this is a little bit... At least on my eyes, it's a little bit of a cooler toned look because it's the black and the purple and stuff like that. And they, they are cooler colors. Um, but I am going to bronze a little bit because my face is quite pasty right now. <laughs> And so I'm just going to put a very small amount of that all over my face and down my neck. Behind my ears a little bit, especially because I'm going to put my hair up for work. I'm using a really, really big fluffy brush to do this. Okay. And now we're going to go in with blush. You guys know which blush I'm using. It's the Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush in Feisty. And I'm going to go ahead and put that on the apples of my cheeks, like always. But I'm going to put a very small amount of it on. Don't want them to be too peachy apricot today. Here we go. Make sure we're even. We're pretty even. We're pretty even. Okay. <laughs> and then the last thing that I'm gonna do that I'm gonna go in with is my favorite lip combination right now. Well, actually, first I'm gonna go in with some lip balm because even though I put some on already, I feel like my lips are already dried out. So <laughs> I'm gonna go in with a little bit of Burt's Bees lip balm. I'm going to go in first with my Morphe Liquid Lipstick in the color Fatty. So we look like that. And then this, this next lip might be controversial to some people. And I'm sorry if you want to know my opinions on the whole thing. Um, feel free to direct message me on YouTube or Instagram or any of those and I will share with you my thoughts But I'm going to go in with the Jaclyn Hill lipstick in the color Ambition Which is like a dark dark brown, but as you can see it's well loved at the top there you can see the color Yes, it's been pretty well loved already so I'm gonna go in with a small thin layer of that and then just kind of like blend that out on my lips 
And then last but not least, go in with my little gloss bar here. Oh my god, the fly just flew past my ear. And just put that right on top. Why is my hair doing what it's doing? So this is it. This is the final look that I have for you guys. I actually think it turned out like pretty well. Again, I don't know if it's like perfectly matching the photo. Uh, because again, hers like in the photo looks a little bit warmer than mine does. But I feel like the look overall like turned out really, really well. And it's really, really pretty. Very wearable, I think. Um, and it, I feel like it does kind of like accentuate my eyes. Like I can't stop looking at my eyes right now. <laughs> I'm like looking at them in the viewfinder, looking at them in the mirror. I just like, I can't stop looking at them right now. They're so pretty. So overall, I re actually really like this process. It was kind of fun to try and follow like someone else's tutorial without actually like watching what they're doing. Uh, and I find these types of photos and stuff like that all the time. I have quite a few for like, um, the James Charles palette or like the 39A palette and stuff from Morphe. So I'm hoping to actually make a series out of this and I hope you guys find that pretty interesting. So yeah, overall I'd say this turned out pretty successfully and I will definitely be doing this again in the future. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed today's video and found it interesting and fun and maybe it inspired you to do something very similar. Uh, so yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed. If you haven't already, please subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know when I upload videos. And I will see you guys all, see all of you guys in my next video. Bye everybody.